the three biggest future trends in transportation and mobility. As a futurist, I see many, many industries undergoing enormous change. The transportation and mobility sector is a perfect example of an industry undergoing rapid changes in technology and customer expectations. In particular, these changes are being driven by three major trends – decarbonisation, automation and servitization. But, but it's really important to know that these three trends won't just transform the movement of people, the movement of goods will also change. Therefore, the, rap the rapid change that we're seeing in this industry will affect every business regardless of sector, especially if your business operates a supply chain that relies on the movement of goods. So everyone needs to be really aware of those changes. For more, subscribe to my channel or check out my book Business Trends and Practice in which I have a whole chapter on the future of mobility. So let's dig deeper into these three trends. The first one is decarbonization. We know that transportation has a major impact on our environment and is a major cause of greenhouse gas emissions. In the US, transportation generates around 28% of total greenhouse gas emissions from burning gasoline and diesel. So we urgently need to transition to, to greener vehicles, which is where electrification comes in. When it comes to cars, electric vehicles or EV are reaching a tipping point at the moment. In 2020, they were just 6% of global automotive sales. This will grow to 13% by 2025 and 22% by 2030. So over time we will transition to this world where we also have stricter national emission targets greater urban popularization, um, improving uh, charging infrastructure for EVs and declining costs of batteries, especially lithium ion batteries. They've already come down by about 80% 80, 80 since 2010 and this will continue to happen. So we are on track to mass adoption of EVs. And it's not just cars that are going electric. There's the Indian ride-sharing company Ola that has invested massively in e-scooters. And the company's e-scooter plant in India is gearing up to produce 10 million electric scooters a year, making it the world's largest e-scooter facilities. And companies like Daimler are investing in electric truck technology. They're 250 mile range truck called E Cascadia is due to go into production in 2022. And Norway has been running electric ferries, even back in 2015 they started this, and their aim is to run all ferries completely electric by 2023. The other technology that will help us with decarbonization is green hydrogen. As long as we are able to produce hydrogen in a green way, we can then fill up our cars or planes or trucks or trains with hydrogen rather than diesel or gasoline and the only byproduct it will generate is water. And hydrogen is spe specifically useful for larger vehicles or those that need more powers like planes, ships, buses and trucks and this will be another addition to hopefully making this whole sector greener. Trend two is autonomous connected vehicles. Um, autonomous vehicles provide an incredible opportunity to revolutionize the way people and goods are transported. They will improve road safety, ease congestion hopefully, and they might even change the how our cities look like and how they are built. If you think about this, huge parking lots will be a thing of the past as driverless vehicles will be able to drop, drop us off at our destination and come back to pick us up. And this is a pretty cool vision. Um, so where are we currently with autonomous cars? Um, Elon Musk famously said uh, that his Tesla cars will be completely level 5 autonomous, meaning that they can do anything a driver can do by the end of 2021. This hasn't quite happened yet, but while 
um, that his prediction wasn't quite right. There are so many other car manufacturers working on this and they're currently working on mostly level four autonomy where vehicles can drive themselves in certain conditions. So we've already seen them, so quite often geofenced in certain areas, and we are seeing driverless taxi becoming a reality. Waymo, so Alphabet's autonomous taxi service launched fully driverless rides uh, for the general public in 2020. And in China, AutoX launched its fully driverless taxis in early 2021. Meanwhile, in freight, several companies are working to develop autonomous trucks, including Too Simple, um, which is working with UPS, for example, to conduct tests, test operations in Arizona and Texas. Currently, Too Simple trucks still have a driver on board ready to take the wheel when they need it, but the company aims to start selling fully autonomous trucks in 2024. The third trend is servitization. So servitization is a massive trend that will affect almost all industries and mobility is no exception. As more and more of us live in densely populated mega cities and as concerns grow over the climate crisis, the days of everyone owning and running their own cars are numbered. Plus, there's the rise of ride-sharing services like Uber and Didi. And transportation is now much more complex and multi-layered than traditional private ownership of cars. So increasingly then, we'll turn to mobility as a service providers to meet our transportation needs. Think of mobility on demand. So a company like Uber could technically fall under this bracket but with mass operations in the future will be will offer customers multiple mobility op options via a single payment channel for example or single interface for example with a mass provider you could borrow a car for a few hours or a day you can pick up an e-scooter for moving around in town or you could hop home on pub public transport all via the same platform and the key no notion here is that access to mobility rather than ownership. In the future, the majority of city dwellers may never need to own a car at all. To learn more about any of these future trends, subscribe to my YouTube channel here or check out my website and have a look at my book, Business Trends in Practice.